Today we're gonna be looking at taking out and replacing two hard drives in HP desktops. So let's get started. We're looking at the computer uh, on its side with the power button and front panel facing us. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is find this latch, push it forward and pull up. That will allow you to get the door open, which we are now looking at the inside of the computer. So with these HP desktops, they have two hard drives. One of them is currently hidden. Some of the cables are a little hard to get at, so we're going to actually remove the hidden hard drive first. So what you're going to want to do to get that going, the first thing you'll want to do is remove the two cables connected to the CD drive, which is this right here. There's a fat SATA cable and a skinnier power supply cable. Okay, with those disconnected, we'll want to depress this green button here, slide it back with a little bit of force, and pull it up. Not too much force, you don't want to break anything, but it does take a little bit of pressure to get it to slide forward once you've depressed the green button. So we'll just set that aside. Now we're looking at part of one of the hard drives and the entirety of the uh, first hard drive we're going to remove. So to remove this hard drive, we're gonna lift up on this. It just is on rails, so it'll lift up nice and easily. You don't have to release anything. And we're gonna remove those same two cables that we removed from the CD drive, which is plugged into all hard drive. And to remove the hard drive, we're actually gonna set this back down, depress the green button again, give it a little bit of pressure, and it should just slide forward and then out. You'll wanna keep the green button depressed the whole time that you're removing that hard drive. Otherwise, it'll get locked and caught up. You'll run into problems. So the next thing we wanna do is just slide this fan casing here forward. It slides nice and easily, and there's you'll find another set of cables. To get these out easily, I actually like to pull this completely up, and then these two cables will just pull right out. You might need to give a little pressure with these cables, all the cables that we're connecting and disconnecting here to get them to remove. You won't want to put too much on there, otherwise they may break, but they're pretty hardy cables. So now to get the hard drive out, it's a very similar process. We'll just push down the green button, pull forward, and slide it up. It removes without any kind of problem. So now we are looking at the inside of an empty HP desktop. So we'll most likely want to put some hard drives back in this machine and I'm just going to put the same ones back to where they were. But the process is going to be the same with any of the hard drives. We will want to make sure that it has these kind of ears here. So if you're replacing it with a different hard drive, you may need to get a hold of a flathead screwdriver and unscrew these and screw them into the new hard drive. All hard drives have the same kind of uh, holes for these ports. So, to get it back in, you want to line it up, put it in, slide it forward. It's now locked in place. Uh, you might want to connect the cables first that go into that. I'm going to do it after. I'm pretty familiar with these. You might want to be able to see the two connectors that they actually connect to, though. So, now that one is done. It's connected, ready to go. When we push power, the computer should see it. This second one, pretty straightforward as well. We we'll wanna make sure we have the right power and SATA. So those are good. I'm gonna uncross them a little bit. All right, so now we have that. This one's a little bit tricky. You'll, you will have to find where the ears go on the inner side of the enclosure for it and kind of slide it down after you find that. This part's a bit tricky. I 
like to out a little bit like I did Let's find it but eventually you will find it get it in there it's nice and secure that's ready to go that part's done we'll make sure that's nice and flat now we just should have the two remaining cables left and the CD drive so the CD drive you'll want to find and line up its guidance ears set it down in there, slide it forward, and then connect the cables. Now all the cables are in, I just want to close that up. Line this nice and up against the side that's closest to you and just push on the other side. And we've done it. We've replaced hard drives. <laughs>